Now, listen, you guys, Nicki Minaj is out there speaking Nigerian pigeon upon the timeline, okay? Basically paying the Transformer dust with this entire beef baiting thing that she tried to do. Meanwhile, the Transformer and her friend, um, you know, the PR friend, are out here scrambling, trying to put out the fire as people are holding them accountable for the corny stuff that they did with that entire photo shoot. And uh, we're also going to be talking about Paprika Spice and the cheetah outfit and who amongst you guys is out there accusing paprika spice of being in the illuminati like what is that all right we're also going to be discussing about cousin sloth and her getting the key to memphis as well as jetavia um and the photo shoot that she recently did rihanna and the bag that she allegedly got from dior i'm just like oh my goodness hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea blog i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing extremely amazing and and uh, without further ado, let us dive straight into today's team. So first of all, let us talk about this entire situation that happened with the Transformer. Now, you guys do know that earlier on, I did a video and I was telling you how everybody was coming for the Transformer and uh, basically accusing her of being tasteless in as far as the graffiti on um, the photos that she posted is concerned. People were like, oh my goodness, how could you, could you joke about the P file? word oh my god and this and that and some of you came in my comment section and said oh there is nothing written on there you are wrong for that oh my goodness this and that and some of i'm just like guys <laughs> So you really think that I would pull that out of my behind, like seriously. But anyway, it's actually there when you look at the picture. You don't even need to screen your eyes, quote unquote, like some of you were saying. <laughs> so basically, yeah, um, it seems like after all that, um, you know, was happening, Nicki Minaj decided to pay everything Does She was like, I'm not going to be addressing any of that. She's out there on Twitter actually minding a business and paying this entire situation dust all right now this is what she's out there tweeting and saying on 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 twitter and i'm just like i love this approach okay because we are done with this going as far as you know beefing with you is concerned it's so 2018 leave her right in 2018 where she belongs okay don't give her the time of the day nor the night okay so nikki was out there just responding to one fan page um that was saying that nikki minaj is going to be performing roman in gag city um, you know, on Pink Friday 2, or on the Pink Friday 2 Deluxe. And so Nikki said, I must be the only person you can make money off mentioning. Go one day, I beg. Go one effing day without effing lying, I beg. Okay. And so um, some people are like, oh my goodness, do you speak, uh, you know, Nigerian pigeon? Would they teach you pigeon, you know? And so she responded and said, wait in the confusion. Dave, I saw, I can read all the pigeon where, where una pick in the put on my timeline every day, sucks it loudly. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. So she really be looking at you, Niger people, when you're out there speaking your pidgin. And one thing about Nicki Minaj and accents and languages is it seems to be her forte. Okay. And overall, I love that she's ignoring the Transformer and she's out there scrambling by herself with a friend. Okay. So yeah, the Transformer, like I told you, is now out there trying to big trick. Somebody said to him, it is a little weird to have a team like a team like this, um, you know, in the background of a maternity shoot, don't you think? That's what uh, somebody said. And it seems to be her own fan page because um, the, the page is actually written Bad Girl Buddy, Shane Buddy or something like that. And then the Transformer said, first of all, listen to the excuses you guys. Like sometimes I wonder how old the Transformer and the team think we are. Like how slow do they really think we are? Because you cannot convince me that an entire team made a decision to post pictures with that word written on there and they all didn't know what they were doing they all didn't like all of them just did not think the impact that this would have that's what they're trying to convince us that they sat down as a team from the photographer to hey the transformer and they said no it's okay it's not gonna cause any commotion it's fine <laughs> You know, the problem with slow people sometimes, they really do think that the way they're slow, everybody else is slow. So she said, first of all, we literally picked a random street because paparazzi was was haunting us everywhere. This was supposed to be my original first picture when we had to, and then, and then we had to edit the photos in minutes because the shoot got leaked. Didn't even have time to go over every detail because people were busy trying to expose my pregnancy as an aha moment. 
And I'm just like, okay, fine. If this was meant to be the first one and you didn't have time to edit. <laughs> Guys, this is a well-edited picture. And this girl is trying to convince us that this is a raw picture. Are you serious? And so after that time, when you then decided to post those pictures, you also didn't see the part. You didn't have every time. To, that's not every detail. Like the moment you look at that picture, you can see that there's a there's another printing, faint printing that's there. <laughs> I'm just like, like, seriously, do better, man. Like if you're going to lie to us, be creative. Do something. Talk to Lee Daniels or someone, someone, okay? You know, don't go Tyler Perry on us if you're going to be out there, you know, redoing these lies over and over again. Don't make it predictable, okay? Go to Lee Daniels, like I'm saying. Make him write you a, a script, okay? So that at least that way it will be believable what you're saying, okay? So she said, second, I'm always with the ish. I'm not using my maternity shoot to be funny. I use dumb. And I'm just looking at her like, you are the one who's actually that word. <laughs> because if you expect us to believe this silly lie, then you are way slower than we even imagined. What is Ken Barbie doing? Is this the PR that is out there doing over there? Like, seriously. <laughs> the transformer that I know is trying to tell me that those are raw pictures. It's trying to tell us that, well, those are unedited pictures. The transformer. I mean, if somebody goes as far as editing Getty images <laughs> and you want to convince us that you would post a, a maternity shoot without editing it and somehow you missed what was written on that graffiti. <laughs> I really just feel like this. these are desperate measures by somebody. They knew that this was going to get attention, but they didn't realize that the attention was actually going to big fire. And I think they also, you know, thought Nicki Minaj was going to play, you know, the way that, you know, she played with, um, you know, with Bongo 2 when she went off on Megan the Stallion and stuff like that. I feel like they were basically beef baiting her. And when they realized that, well, Nicki is minding her business, is not paying them attention. And if anything, she is now showing how obsessed she is with Nicki Minaj. She's not now showing how obsessed um she is with the beef that they once had so i'm just like go oh, yeah get in touch with lee daniels okay lately he's been doing amazing and uh the pr person came in <laughs> ken bobby ken bobby said if you really think cardi used the moment like a maternity shoot to throw shade at anyone you are far too deep in the stun ish relax <laughs> Is there effort for me? <laughs> the effort to try and make it seem like the world is the one that's insane for this. <laughs> it's him trying to come in here and justifying such a, a, a distasteful and tasteless thing that your friend has done. Kenneth, what are you doing? <laughs> And somebody said she wanted to trend to say that's why she did, especially um, especially what Twitter been on. Uh, stop playing dumb. The GP and everybody else is on to the PR stuff. Sell the music based off you and don't what what. And then Ken Bobby said, this is my thing. Y'all swear everything is PR, but also swear there is no album. So which one is it? Mind you, no product has ever followed anything y'all try to label a stand. Yes, because you got caught and then you realized that it was going to be very clear. And the, the no product that thing that's not true that's not true like that is not true each time this girl has something coming out um she does do pr stunts if we're gonna be honest allegedly in my own opinion <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yeah let me know in the comment section you guys what you think about this entire situation this entire mess speaking about the same um you know the same mess and the same photo shoot uh some people are speculating that there was a hidden message there um and the message was basically the fact that well the album is going to come on the 11th on on on, on the seventh month on the seventh day of, of the 11th month or whether it was an announcement i don't know what people were now speculating but i will leave that to buddy gang um you know to do the speculations and of course their delusions they deserve it i mean that's their person and that's their album that they're waiting for <laughs> anyway the next thing that we are going to be talking about we're going to talk about paprika spice so paprika spice was out there doing her thing um uh, basically wearing a cheetah a cheetah, a cheetah. I don't know if I should call that an uh, an outfit or if that if those are underpins. <laughs> Somebody say. <laughs> 
Somebody said back then artists used to perform wearing, uh, you know, cute outfits. Nowadays, they just wear underpins instead of underpins. And then they hop on stage. So, yeah, people really were not feeling the cheetah number that she was wearing. With some people saying, leave, leave the cheetah stuff for lottery ticket because that's a brand and things like that. And I'm like, when it comes to those two people, like with their beef, honestly, I'm just now watching from the sidelines to see what's tea. And um, still speaking about Paprika Spice, some of you are out here convinced that Paprika Spice is, um, you know, in the Illuminati because you guys said, well, she wasn't being respectful when um, a prayer was um, was being made. And, um, you know, some of you were also saying that, well, she was throwing the sign after the prayer. You do know people have these signs that they believe belong to the Illuminati. And that's what people are now saying. So I'm just like with this entire thing. I don't know, man. I <laughs> In as far as the Illuminati rumor is concerned, honestly, I really do not know. Do I think that that was disrespect for what she was doing during, during prayer? Absolutely, yes. I feel like you know when when you're when you're doing prayer, when you when you're in the midst of prayer, you need to be a little bit calm, show a little bit of you know respect, the fidgeting and all that movement. That was absolutely not necessary. That's what I think. But to say that because of that now she is in that um, you know organization, I really I highly doubt it. But uh, let me just insert a snippet of uh, the video and let me know you guys what you think about that. Do you believe that indeed there's something fishy that is happening with a paprika spice? Just praying because I'm trying to show up for ice spice like I'm Christian. No, I'm just trying to. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to just say this prayer so the Lord can protect us as we go through the rest of the night and the rest of our careers. Right. You know what I'm saying? So everybody hold hands. Hold hands, hold hands. Lord, thank you so much for bringing this amazing group together right now with this amazing stream and our amazing teams, Lord. We are all from the same place and we are all trying to get to the same place, which is the top end. We are we all want to experience different things in our lives, Chad. So thank you so much for bringing all of us together. And I pray that you allow us to grow on other people, on each other. And I pray that you allow us to reach any measures in this life and just watch over us daily. You bless us. You allow us to bless other people with our work and our amazing craft. And you help us enjoy this night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, we need a bottle of rosé. Listen, shout out to all my Don Julio. What the f***? <gasps> I, oh. I just bought this sh Whose tea is that? You were sitting right there, too. Jeez. You knocked it off. Now, the next thing oh. that we are going to be talking about, we are going to be talking about Jetavia. So it seems like she had a photo shoot and um it's different. I will say that um <laughs> it's it's different, okay? It's got a little bit of cheetah print and some fur. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> And of course, people are out there talking about, um, you know, that photo shoot and things like that. Now, honestly, I'm not shocked with this entire outfit. I mean, this is so JT quarter. JT doesn't do usual. JT doesn't do normal. She does the things. Sometimes she hits. Sometimes she misses. And this is what I'm seeing looking at this entire photo shoot, honestly. I did see Paprika Spice in the comment section leaving a loving, um, you know, eyes emoji. You know, one thing about Paprika Spice is you will catch her in the comment section of different people. People. Hey, she's like she's literally like a you go girl person. Okay, I don't know if that's genuine or not, but one thing about her, she stays in those comment sections. So yeah, let me know you guys in the comment section what you think about JT's photo shoot. Do you think that um she cleared or you think not? Now, still speaking about JT, some of you came to me and were like, oh my god. We cannot believe that um you are blind to what Jetavia has done in this fan base. And I'm like, no, I never said that. I mean, when it happened, did I not address it? Did I not tell you, you guys? Like, did I not talk about it? So I don't understand. Do you want me to bring up um, this entire thing every time that I talk about Jetavia? Honestly. But anyway, the next thing that we are going to be talking about, we are going to be talking about Cousin Sloth. It seems like Cousin Sloth is out there. It's a, it's a winning year. That's one thing about Cousin Sloth. 2024 is a year. This is absolutely her year. She's winning. She's getting recognized and things like that. Um, it is really reported that she's out there getting, um, you know, a key 
Um, she posted on her Instagram and said, Memphis made me, Fraser raised me. I got a, I got the key to my city. Uh, happy 901 day, Memphis, okay? And uh, she basically posts for pictures with the key. So, yeah, congratulations to Glorilla for that. Um, a lot of people were having conversations in the comment section um, saying that, oh, my goodness, she does not deserve it. What has she done? And things like that. And some people feel like, well, these keys are just being given to people randomly. So let me know in the comment section what you think about that. Do you think she does deserve the key or not? Now, the next thing that we are going to be talking about, let us talk about Rihanna, okay? I'm just like, one thing about money is it keeps piling up on where it already exists. That's one thing about money. Once you start getting money, it keeps coming. Because tell me why they are reporting that Rihanna is out there getting these massive amounts, um, you know, for this Dior the campaign that she did. Now, you guys do know that Rihanna is out there doing, um, you know, Dior ads. Now, it is being reported that she was paid $65 million for the Dior fragrance ad, allegedly. Now, I'm just like, listen, one ad getting that much? And you never hear, that's the thing, you never hear Rihanna coming out here bragging about, oh, I'm getting money, all oh, these money, these, I am rich, I'm acquiring this, I'm doing this, I paid the mansion, me and Asa Brocky, but you will never hear Rihanna saying that. But this is somebody who's getting paid $75 million for an ad. Congratulations to Rihanna for that. Honestly, that is an absolute flex. And I'm just like, for somebody who already has a beauty brand, obviously it's expected that, well, they would respect her time because I mean, what do you mean? I've got my own brands. I've got my own business. I'm worth a billion and you want me for an ad? You better pay me, run me, be better, have my money. The next thing that we are going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be talking about Rashida. Now, who amongst you is out here playing with Rashida? Like, what has Rashida done to you? Uh, because this person came out here and said that the day Rashida leaves Kirk, I'm getting a section and all that. <laughs> And I opened the comment section and everybody was like, yes, yeah, that day I don't even go to the club, but that day I'm going to go out there and celebrate. And uh, I was people were welding in the comment section. And I'm like, why do you guys keep doing this to Rashida? Clearly she loves, she loves a day at Kirk, at Kirk's, all right? Um, clearly she's not going anywhere and things like that. <laughs> when I saw that, I really just thought that was hilarious. And I thought I should definitely talk about it, okay? Um, the next thing that we are going to be talking about Jocelyn and Natalie Nan. Why are these two beefing? Okay, the last time that I saw about this entire beef, it was Jocelyn who was out there, uh, basically saying that Natalie Nan is responsible for the disappearance of um you know the network's uh, page and so i saw that and i was like okay these two the beef between the baddies and jocelyn scarberry obviously is never going to end okay so natalie nan then responded and says she knows who took over zeus that's why she's mad you don't get invited to nothing you're lucky you're having a premiere party again Bettis funded your new season. Bettis brings in all the money you're holding by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> Meanwhile, all your girls on your show want to really be on Bettis. Happy Sunday, Bettis Midwest coming soon, okay? And I'm just like, this entire beef, all right? This entire Bettis and, 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 and Jocelyn's cabaret beef is just something that I don't, I, I, I didn't see coming. However, I did see some people having different sentiments saying that, well, um, you know, to begin with, Jocelyn and her girls are the ones that actually put Zeus on the map like that. And then obviously the betters came over and are now carrying the network. So people felt like, well, Jocelyn should get the respect that she deserves. Now, when it comes to that entire network, Ray J, Lemo, or whatever you call that person, <laughs> Ray J is his own network. I don't know why I'm bringing him into this entire thing, but you get what I'm saying, okay? And as far as that network is concerned, I struggle to take it seriously, honestly. I feel like it's a lot of um, kids and dogs that happen there that we get to see because usually um you know this happens behind the scenes okay but the fact that it's it's happening in front of the scenes and things like that i'm just like you know what 
it is what it is anyway thank you very much you guys for watching and uh thank you very much for making it this far if you have not already what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and uh do turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified each and every time that i post i post each and every single day and i keep you updated on what is happening in the celebrity world on instagram on twitter and about all things trending do not forget to go and subscribe to instant brew and uh until my next one see you